EOPS top ships. This is in fact a tanker company, even though it might not look like it. What is happening with this? This is Brian Lewis with MMT Investing and Things Just Changed. So I mean this this whole company is only a couple years old and they got a little spike up here. 50, 50 bucks a share and now they're 22 pennies a share. And this is just crazy. What what is happening here? So I mean Top Ships always smashes that like button right now to help me out with the YouTube algorithm. So Top Ships has 12 sh ships. It's one of the youngest and smallest fleets in the world and 10 of their boats are are product or chemical tankers and they have two oil tankers. They're the Susan Max tankers, the smaller ones, and they focus on a modern eco fleet, which means that these boats use less uh, gas to operate than most of the other boats, because as we know, there's there's not enough <laughs> there's not enough gas and oil around right now. Um, so I I don't know why they're doing that horribly. I didn't look at their balance sheet because just after looking at this stock, I thought, why bother? Um, but I mean, it. Even if they just have two tankers, they sh that should be enough to float their business. Uh, I don't, I don't get how they could go from sixty to twenty-two pennies. But let's look at the, let's look at the crash. Where are we? Oh, they're just down, 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 down. Oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, the crash is in here. Oh, th this may be more interesting than I thought. Okay. Okay. So they have been doing absolutely horribly. And this is a, mine, a modern tiny fleet, but only two out of their 12 ships are oil tankers. So you're not really getting an oil tanker company here. This is mostly a product company. And that's not crude. It's oil product. And where, uh, where where's the crash? Oh, oh, okay, it's back here. Oh, all right. So, let me. All right, let's see what happened. This is more interesting than what I thought, but it still is pennies. It was 60 bucks. Wow, okay, so. So, they're obviously not doing so well in the long term, but we get. Let me get the timing on this thing right. That's the bottom here. So we get a dead cat and a crash and then a bull trap in the S&P. And here we get not much going on. I mean, I guess they sort of crashed with the dead cat. This is their dead cat bounce. Not a whole lot. And, and then off the bottom... The first part of the bull trap, they went up like crazy, gapped down, and then did this in the second part of the bull trap. So, what? Okay. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, basically, this is interesting, but it's basically just not, it's not really a crude oil storage tanker company. Like, this is a product shipping company, and they're interesting. Like, they, they didn't bottom with the crash, and the crash is farther down than that. But they stayed up and then kind of rebounded, but they're not doing anything interesting. Most of the tanker companies are going nuts on the end of the bull trap. And yeah, okay, this is not investment advice. Uh, please hit the like button, and I'm not going to be touching this. This is just not interesting. But the tiny, tiny price, and even those two tankers. I mean, maybe there is some upside here. I mean, if they have bad balance sheet or something like that, two oil tankers might be enough to, to get them back on track. I don't know. Maybe there's maybe there's some more interest in this company that I'm seeing here, but but I am not not seeing it here. So happy trading.